Now let's evaluate the value of 10, 13 power over 12. Whenever you you uh, get any expression, any trigonometric expression related to the pi, then you first you have to uh, do one thing. You have to convert that into the degree form. Just just to understand in your brain, right? If if you if your brain quickly works, because this I'm saying because most of the students. Uh, learn the trigonometric table of many different uh, ratios, trigonometric ratios into the degree form. They don't learn into the pi form. So that's what I'm saying this. If you have learned from the pi form, that's very awesome. You can easily calculate this. How much this is? 13 pi by 12. 13 pi by 12 easily it looks like uh, 112 more. So 112 of 180 that's 15 degrees. So it, it, it's, really, it's like like 10, 10 uh, finally you'll get uh, 180 plus 15, 195 degrees. It's very easy. But in my opinion, if I, if, if, if you say, I haven't learned in my school in the pi form, I have learned in the degree form. So why what I used to do most of the time is to convert this into the degree form. So it's very easy, you know, 13 and uh, pi reading is equals to 180 degree, all right, divided by 12. And then 12, uh, we can cancel by, by, by 6, 2's are, and 6, 3's are, 2 times 15 and 15 into 13 uh, 15 10 is 150 and 15 3 is 45 so it's 195 all right it's 195 degree as I told you you see so it's 195 degree you know so so what you can do you can break into into uh, 10 180 plus 15 degree all right uh, we are going to write into the uh, reading form because the question has given us into the reading form so let's solve it into the reading form so it's 10 pi plus 15 degree and 15 degree if you see that's that's uh 180 divided by by 12 all right i'm gonna say it's pi over 12 but doing so you know this is 180 degree plus 15 degree 15 degree i i just try to write into the pi form so 15 degree is equals to uh simply you know uh, pi 180 divided by by 12 keep in mind that all right i just did it okay so further now 10 pi plus pi over 12 so i hope you understand if not then it, it's it's you know something like uh, if there is nothing then there is one you know so if you take the lcm of that you'll get 12 and then uh, one will divide this 12 so you'll get 12 pi and this when this 12 will divide this 12 you'll get one so one pi so 12 pi plus one pi that is 13 pi over 12 so I just break 13 pi over 12 into the uh, pi plus uh, pi over 12 so now uh, let's do further let me first ease this portion okay okay let's go here now what I'm further going to do I'm going to use the quadrant rule now tan 180 plus anything any angle it's something like this it's something like this let's say this is 0 pi all right so pi reason is this and as I told you already that in pi reason the trigonometric ratio do not change so if it is 10 then it will be 10 and the angle will be same pi over 12 but the what matters is the sign sign means the plus or minus positive sign or negative sign so it's 180 plus pi by 12 so it is somewhere like this you know so this is uh, pi plus pi by 12 so pi by 12 and in the third quadrant the tangent is always positive so this will be positive means it's 10 pi over 12 and the only thing it is like 10 15 degree and I know you guys are very very uh, awesome in, in in superb in finding out the value of 10 15 degree you just have to do 10 45 degree minus 30 degree you know so 45 degree minus 30, uh, 30 degree that's 10 15 because you know the value of 45 degree you know the value of 30 degree the same thing I'm going to do now tangent of 45 degree 45 is pi over 4 minus 30 degree that is pi over 6 and by doing so what we get now we get the formula of tan a minus b you know my friend tan a minus b formula is tan a minus tan b divided by 1 plus tan a times tan b all right so the same formula I'm going to use here so I'll get tan pi by 4 minus tan pi by 6 divided by 1 plus tan pi by 4 times tan pi over its pi all right pi over 6 so let's put the value of everything hurry up fast tan pi by 4 ah that's 1 
tan pi by 6 tan 30 that's 1 over root 3 divided by let's go a little bit down 1 plus again tan pi by 4 that's 1 tan pi by 6 that's 1 over root 3 so if you take the LCM it's gonna be root 3 minus 1 over root 3 times uh, again root 3 plus 1 all right root 3 plus 1 and this root 3 will go up so you'll get this let's cut this both and we are going to left with root 3 over uh, root 3 minus 1 over root 3 plus 1 so this is the value of tan 13 pi over 12 all right if you and you can do further rationalization root 3 plus minus like that you can go I mean I mean if one you can go root 3 minus 1 for the root 3 minus 1 then it will be root 3 minus 1 all square divided by uh, 3 minus 1 for that if you go a minus b whole square you can do it's 3 minus 2 root 3 plus 1 divided by 2 and 3 plus 1 that's going to be 4 minus 2 root 3 divided by 2 further it's going to be now um, you can take two common so it will be 2 minus root 3 divided by 2 to two, two cancel and you're going to be left with 2 minus root 3 like this uh, if you want then you can do otherwise you can left like this all right as you wish uh, I hope you understand how to find the uh, uh, find the value of tan 13 pi over 12 and similar such questions all right if there is any more confusion or anything you need to ask me related to this or similar to this then please feel free to comment below this video I really really feel happy to hear something from your side all right and don't forget to like the like the video and subscribe the channel goodbye see you in the next lesson bye bye